So we worked on the word drug, friend. And uh, friend is a person. We were using the questions from the first column. Let's work on another living thing. So let's take a dog. Dog would be sabaka. Basically, we will still need to use the first column question words. And let's work on our cases. Basically, the idea right now to understand uh, what are the cases regulating within the sentence and how are they regulating the noun. So, the first sentence would be I got a dog. У меня собака. У меня со ба ка. У меня собака. I got a dog. У меня кошка would be I got a cat. So, у меня собака. What would be the question? Uh, put on the word собака. Question would be, кто у меня? So, who am I having? Кто у меня? Кто у меня? Кто у меня? So, we got the question word кто, regulating word собака. And кто is nominative case. Basically, we are taking собака from the dictionary and we can say any word now. Actually, basically, you can use this uh, sentence construction to say uh, anything about, uh, yes, about anything. У меня собака, у меня кошка, у меня ручка, у меня телефон. I got a telephone. Next one. Dog got a tail. У собаки хвост. У со ба ки хвост. Хвост. So, here we got two different cases. We are talking about dog. So, how would we ask a question about dog? Basically, we would need to ask who has got a tail? У кого хвост? У кого хвост? У кого хвост? У кого хвост? And we got a question. У кого? Who has? Who has tail? And we got кого, who has in genitive. So it's a genitive. If we would ask something about хвост, if хвост would be uh, the topic of our question, then we would ask что у собаки? What is at dogs? Что у собаки? Хвост, tail. Then we would have not a living thing following the logic of a nominative case. So, хвост is in nominative, собаки is in genitive. Actually, у меня, меня follows also the logic of genitive for personal pronouns. So, у меня собака, у собаки хвост. So, this way you can see pronouns and adjectives are actually also uh, declined according to the cases. Next one. I go to a dog. Я иду к собаке. Собаке. Я иду к собаке. I go to a dog. What would be the question pointed on dog here? To whom am I going? To whom am I going? Я иду к собаке. I go to a dog. So, к кому я иду? К кому я иду? Кому я иду? Я иду к собаке. Кому я иду? Я иду к собаке. And we get a dative. 
Next one. I see a dog. Я вижу собаку. Я вижу собаку. со ба -ку. Я вижу собаку. I see a dog. How would we ask a question to the, uh, on the dog here within the sentence? Whom am I seeing? Кого я вижу? Кого я вижу? Кого я вижу? Я вижу собаку. So we got here кого. Whom. Кого я вижу? Я вижу собаку. And we got accusative form of uh, case here. Now I'm surprised by a dog. Я удивлен собакой. Я удивлен собакой. со ба -кой. Я удивлен собакой. I'm surprised by a dog. So, you see, собакой changes itself again. We were having собака, собаки, собаки. Sabaku and now sabakoi. And uh, the question pointed on sabakai within the question within the sentence would be Kem ya udivlon. By whom am I surprised? Kem ya udivlon. Kem ya udivlon. U div lo. Кем я удивлен? Я удивлен собакой. We got instrumental case here. So, я удивлен собакой. Here we got иду, вижу, удивлен. Those are verbs. Verbs conjugated according to the first uh, personal pronoun. I. Я иду. Идти. Я иду. Видеть. Я вижу. Удивляться. To be surprised. Я удивлен. I'm surprised. So, if you want, and I'm highly suggesting you, uh, to get conjugate verbs. Every day take one verb and conjugate it in Russian language. It is very easy to refer because uh, just type it in, uh, in Google and ask, please conjugate me a Russian word удивляться. Uh, and he will give you all of the conjugations of uh, Russian word. It is useful and uh, try to exercise this until you can do it by yourself, until you, you get uh, used to it and you get fluent in conjugating uh, verbs. I'm speaking about a dog. Я говорю о собаке. Я говорю о со Ба -ке. Я говорю о собаке. I'm speaking about dog. The question here would be about whom am I speaking? О ком я говорю? О ком я говорю? Я говорю. О ком я говорю? And we got prepositional case here. So, я говорю, говорить is to speak. Я говорю, I'm speaking. We are conjugating the verb again. Я говорю о собаке. And собака, we need to decline this word. From собака, the nominative case, the way it is uh, presented by uh, dictionary, to собаке. О собаке, about a dog. Because it answers the question о ком. О ком, о собаке. So, it was kind of difficult and kind of tricky and a little bit long. I just try to emphasize on uh, the logic and on technology of cases. It is important for you to understand what we will work on in uh, later lessons because we will work quite few uh, lessons on each single uh, case. And in the next lesson, we'll have an example of non-living thing. So we'll discuss uh, something about uh, the second column. So we'll 
put sentences and uh, uh, make questions. I hope also that making questions is useful for you. Because every time you make a question, you build a question and you answer the question, it's a great exercise of Russian language.